And here we are at the corner today. As you can see, snow. This isn't our first snow, but perhaps it is the first snow that has coincided with my being out here on the weekly. Um, and it may seem at first that there's not much to see. Th things are covered in snow, right? But actually, um, I have found winter to be one of the most glorious times for taking photographs and finding inspiration. Um, so let's take a closer look at uh, what's happening here at the corner. Okay, so zooming in on these um, wildflowers that, if you will remember, back in the summer were golden rods. These are the golden rods, and then of course the other ones were the... Um, maroon flowers very vivid purple pink and now they are these beigey seed puff balls and now you're getting snow on them and the snow has this amazing texture and structural quality so now on top of things you're going to get this almost like things have been outlined by this especially here you can see the outline you're going to get this just extra boldness to the shapes and the contrast in color, right? One of the interesting things that come about in the winter is the branches start to sag or fall over from heaviness or just from the fact that they're decaying and you're going to get arches. The, the geometry changes. Less vertical, although we still have plenty of vertical lines and then you start getting these curves so here's here's one that's a very beautiful curve horizontal lines these have fallen down and have made a very interesting abstract pattern with their leaves hanging down so some interesting shapes and positive and negative space emerges okay so what you might sometimes get with this is a sense of noir or black and white this is I haven't changed the color you can see up here these are still very much uh, coppery colored and I'm by the parking sign and red which in itself is also glorious uh, vertical lines there but then you might come across something like this and it is taking on kind of a very distinct silhouette and you can again get some great shapes and it's very feels like a black and white film and standing out against the whiteness of the snow, some of these uh, roadside plants can make very interesting shapes. Um, also, uh, the cedars, let's get a little closer to them. Oh, I forgot about these, the Queen Anne's lace are now these dried seeds and they will have snow Hot, and they will again make really interesting outlines up close and then of course well here's another um, goldenrod and then the cedars are going to also hold the snow almost like jewels right like you get some very good close-ups of the snow crystals this way not a sunny day when the sun comes out that will add another textural element uh, to whatever's going on with the snow anyways here's our final sweep there's the corner up to the cedars up to the sky which is very very shades of gray or to the other side there's the parking sign things are getting that extra outline like it's been highlighted with a marker with the snow just doing all the shapes and then down into the snow so we don't have the pavement anymore at this point now we've got snow and then you can see all my footsteps and here we are back at the corner so that is the corner this week we'll see you here again next week and now some photos from today
Here are some potential art themes emerging from today's meeting at the corner. These are prompts for further creative exploration. Structural quality, outlined, boldness, fall over, arches, geometry changes, film noir, black and white. See you in the same place next week.